interview with Joe Montalioni, accomplished deafblind artist and Able Australia client. Hi, my name is Joe. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was born deaf and grew up deaf. Then, about 30 years old, I found out I had Usher's syndrome type 1. Also, I'm a deafblind artist, in particular, a printmaker. I also had two cataracts removed from my eyes. Now I can see through a limited frame called a visual frame. It's a type of tunnel vision. That's in the daytime, but at night I'm totally blind. I have night blindness. Everything is black. It's interesting. I have two conditions, one for the daytime and one at night. What challenges do you face day to day? Even though I have a communication guide with me and therapists supporting me, I still face barriers with communication when I go to the shops. They talk to me and I have no idea what they're saying. I have to write messages down on paper and tell them that I'm deaf. So communication would have to be one of the biggest barriers I face. I've faced this problem for many years. It's something I just have to accept. How has Able Australia supported you? Can you imagine if I didn't have Able Australia, my life would just fall apart. They've supported me for many years. When I retired from work in 2014, for OH&S reasons and the barriers I faced in the work environment, I had worked there for 30 years and suddenly I was without work, thinking, what am I going to do? Able Australia has been supporting me since then. How did you start learning and creating lino cuts? Once I had finished work, I went to TAFE, to MPT, and studied Certificate 2, 3 and 4 in Visual Arts. Then I went to CAE, City Campus, to learn painting and drawing. It was fun and I enjoyed it as a hobby. I didn't really connect with the work I was doing because it wasn't tactile. Then a communication guide came to me and said you should go to NGV. There's a famous artist named M.C. Escher. He has an exhibition. It captivated me. It was an amazing, beautiful exhibition. It was print, but I didn't really understand what I was looking at. Finally, after that, I went back to TAFE to the teacher and said, I want to learn printmaking. He said, let's do it. So we went to class to learn. At first, I was not sure about it. Then later, I got used to the movements needed to carve. It was exciting and gradually my canvases got bigger and bigger. My first exhibition was at Gasworks last year, where I showed seven pieces of work, which developed my confidence. So I kept working just for fun. I received my second grant, so I carved Flinders Street Station a large piece, 2.8 metres by 1.8 metre. Phew, it took 800 hours of hard work. I was excited to develop my skills further. I loved it and it felt great. It was also a tactile piece. I made mistakes and threw it out three times. My confidence grew. I love printmaking. It's my number one love because I can touch it. Painting and drawing didn't gel with me so I was done with that and I focused on printmaking. It's my passion. What are the grants you have received for your art? My first grant, which I'm very grateful for, was for my exhibition at the Gasworks. The grant was from the City of Port Phillip Council. The second grant, again thanks to the City of Melbourne Council, it made a big difference. 
I never dreamed I would be exhibiting, but suddenly I was. Thank you so much. What is one thing you want to leave people with today about being deafblind? I've said it a thousand, thousand times before. Forget about deafblindness. Meet the person. Accept me for who I am. I'm Joe, who is an artist. You need to put the fact that I'm deaf aside, that I'm deafblind aside. It's the same with all disabilities. Look past that and see the person. It's important that the wider public be aware of deafblindness. Stop thinking can't, can't, can't. Put that word can't aside. Deafblind people can do anything, like me, I'm an artist. See the person for who they are. Thinking that disabled people can't do anything is wrong. Keep this in mind and be aware of people with disabilities. You can support Joe by attending his exhibition in January and following him on Facebook at monty.art or Instagram at montelioni underscore art.